Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to work with the save post as Instagram does. We can save post and like see you later. We're going to do that. We're going to do the same thing. And we are going to enable that function in this button here that we have like save post. And we did we did this before when we were working in the post like favorite. And remember when we when we like copy the the other like models we commented like this um feel because we didn't have like post <laughs> so let's yeah let's start like by um, um comment all of these now let's save and now we need to run the migrations because we added a new field make migrations And then migrate. Okay, we have the field. Okay, now let's, let's run the server again. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, this is working. Let's close this and this and this. Let's close everything. Okay, let's jump to the views in post. Okay, we're going to create a new view. It will be like kind of like the like. Okay. Um, okay. This one, let's call it, of course, login require. Dev, let's call it. Um, oops. Favorite, I guess. Login require. Favorite. Okay, check a request. Of course, the post ID. Okay. The user will be the user. Oops. Request that user. Post post dot objects dot get. The ID, the post ID. Okay, and we are loading the profile because remember this is in the models, in the in the profile models. Okay, profile will be equal to profile. Actually, let me see. Did I import it? Nope. Okay, let's import from models import profile okay profile dot objects dot get what are we getting the user so user okay now if profile dot favorite because we are we are going to filter if in the in this field we have uh, the post okay and we are oops we're passing the post id okay if this assists at six we are going to remove it because we don't favorite that remove post okay if not we are adding that post oops if not profile that favorite that add post now Actually, let's just copy the whole thing up up here from the like and save. Good. Yeah. Um. Now we just we can we just let's just work with the URL and we're doing the same thing. So let's just copy this one. 
paste it here and it will be past favorite and this one is favorite and let's go to the views let's, let me see let's import the view favorite save okay and now let's work with the templates post detail and let's see let's copy this one paste it here post favorite let me see something yes I knew it I'm <laughs> like I think it yeah paste it here okay that's the problem we were like copying um like a like the same thing you always forget to like <laughs> to add the like the current view or or whatever <laughs> um yeah let's save let's refresh okay let's go here and let's save Okay, apparently it worked. Let's go to the admin. Just, oh, this is not a super user. Let's log out. Oops. Profiles. Yes, as you can see, here is the favorite for that post. It's in the favorites. So it's working apparently. But as you can see, the person let me let me look just log in with the same user. So the user doesn't know if the person like already like saved the post. So we're going to Yeah, let's yeah, let's fix that. Okay, let's go to the templates. Um, templates, post details here. Okay. So we're going to check some. So um, we need to create an, a conditional here and like basically like change the color. Okay. So let's do that. If um, we need to go, let's go to the views in post views here. Let's see post detail. Okay. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to check. Let's create a new variable. Let's call it like favorite. This, this will be false and now we have a profile here yes okay um profile will be equal profile dot objects dot get and then the user that's bad yeah just like that request user um actually yeah, just like that, it's fine. So, um, let's create a conditional here. Oops. If request that user that is authenticated, because we can, we can, um, we're going to check 
first if this user is authenticated, right? Okay. Um, profile will be equal to profile. Oops. That object that get user. Okay. Um, so let's get this one. If profile that favorites oops, that filter, we're going to check what well, we're going to check the post, of course. So let's pass the post ID. S six favorite equals true. This is pretty simple. So if the user authenticated, actually I don't think we need that here. Let's delete this. Yeah, because we have it like here. Okay. Um yeah. So if the user is authenticated. Let's check. Let's get the profile. And here, let's get the let's check if the post like at six in the favorites. And we're and we're like changing this variable to two. And actually let's put a comment here so you so you understand. Um for the color of the favorite button let's say yep um pretty much favorite color condi conditionals okay now let's pass favorite oops and say okay if now here favorite yeah I'm going to say that it's true and if Let's have a else here. Okay, let's refresh. Let's yeah. Oops. No, actually, it's true. And then we have to change the color. Um, has test. What is the thing? Let's go to the index to check the colors. Okay, this one. here so we're not saving we're removing because it's true we have it already right let's put remove remove past oops um, remove past yeah it looks weird remove favorite so on okay remove past yeah and 
paste, copy the whole thing. Paste it here. Save past. Okay, has test success. Let's refresh. Okay, now let's try. Remove past and save past. Here you go. Let's change the color of these legs. Um, let's copy this one. Beautiful. So the save bus is working, as you can see. We are, and now we're removing. Now we are adding. Beautiful. It's working perfectly. Um, yeah. Now in the next videos, we're going to work with the profile to, to load all these posts that we're like saving and everything. And yeah, this is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.